What's up, YouTube? Prep Guy here today. We're going to be looking at a uh, nice piece. This is uh, Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story Collection. Uh, now, the Toy Story Collection is a uh, collection that they, I don't think they make anymore. It's made by Thinkway Toys. Um, and I mostly, I found it here in Kentucky at Toys R Us in Lexington. Um, I've never really found it any place else. I'm sure other places have carried it. I just the only place I could find it. Now, with Toys R Us being defunct, it's practically going to be impossible for me to find these. Um, it's, a, it's a series I've been trying to collect for a while, which is hard because they're rather pricey. Um, each piece in the collection was about 50 bucks, uh, And it didn't really sell too well, A, because I think it just wasn't carried a lot of places. B, it was rather expensive. Uh, most parents probably just wanted the cheaper version. Uh, this was geared more towards the collectors. You know, came with the collector box that looked just like out of the movie. Uh, this as movie authentic as possible with all the stickers and... Uh, electronics and all sorts of interactivity like that, um, the sculpts and everything like that. So it, it didn't really sell too well, um, but they're really, really nice pieces. Now, unfortunately, my daughter has gotten a hold of this one because she loves Buzz Lightyear. So he's a little scratched up, a little scuffed up, a little bit messed up on the stickers, and he's got some interactivity. He's got mo all the Toy Story collection have a dual play mode. So one phase will act just like the toy in the movie. Another phase, they'll act like the toy has come to life. So you got a lot of interactivity and stuff like that. Um, they roughly all have about 50 phrases and things like that. All sorts of electronics and lights and move, movement, especially on Buzz, is his head will move. And I think my daughter's played with the head too much, so I think the gears are a little worn out because I hear the motor turning and his head doesn't always move or move as much as it's supposed to. It's supposed to almost move completely side to side. His bar head barely turns if it turns. So unfortunately, I've got some damage to him there. But it is still a really fantastic piece. Now, this is the Toy Story 2 version, because uh, you can tell from the utility belt that he tries to uh, snatch off that other Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story 2. Uh, they've made two versions of this for the collection. Obviously, this version here and the classic that you see in Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, although most of its phrases are from Toy Story 1. Uh, the Toy Story collection started, I think, hmm, 2010s and thereabouts, I believe. Uh, originally came out with the Buzz and the Woody, and they added a bunch to it. Um, Mr. Potato Head, which is really rare and hard to find. Uh, they did the RC Car, Rex, uh, Lotso, uh, Bullseye, Jesse. And I think they did the Aliens in a three-pack, and then also later on a single-pack. Uh, the Bucket of Soldiers. Um... I'm surprised they didn't get to do more with the line. I think it was a really neat line. I wish it had sold better. Um, I would have loved to have seen a Stinky Pete Prospector. I would have rounded out the Roundup Gang. I would have loved to have seen Emperor Zerg. Uh, there's actually is an Emperor Zerg now. I think you can get the disc store. I've seen it's pretty nice. And pretty reasonable, about $30. I'm going to try to pick that up for the collection. Um, but moving on to him, in terms of uh, articulation, uh, he's not too bad. Obviously, he's not the most articulate thing in the world because he's going for accuracy but he's got ball joints up here that move around pretty good uh, they won't go do a full 360 unfortunately they will only go up that far and they'll go back that far um, but they'll move in and out in good ways uh, he's got elbow articulation right here a swivel pivot and then it will go in pretty far he'll all, yeah he'll press his own buttons which is cool and it'll go out pretty good uh, fingers, thumb is not articulated even though it looks like it. It's just got the fake joint there. It does not actually move. Uh, all the other fingers are articulated, so he'll make a fist and everything, which is nice. Or he can place it on his hand. His hand on the belt there. He cannot reach to touch the utility belt, which is funny. He also, well, nope, actually he can. He can press his own flight mode. Um, he cannot reach over to press his own laser, though, which is ironic. He uh, got the wrist communicator, which is rather difficult to open. It's a hard snap. Ah, you need some fingernails and some strength on that one. And I just shut it. All right, just pop her open. And you got the uh, classic graphic that you see there. Uh, it does not say made Taiwan up top, which is unfortunate, but eh. So it clicks down. Uh, utility belt, you don't have the um, side magnets that pop off or the uh, little thing in the back where it... Uh, was the core that they held on to it when he uh, is climbing that scene in the elevator in Toy Story 2. Which, you don't even have the red section for that, which is kind of unique. Um, but you do have this weird red circle thing. 
Uh, leg articulation, he goes out that far. That's it, he will not do the splits. He only goes forward about that far straight, and then he'll go forward a little bit more if you slide it out, and you can tell it's a huge ball joint there. Um, knees, uh, he also won't go back any, really, unless you slide it out some. Knees do a 90 degree bend, and they'll also lock in each place on the pivot, so you can get some good standing poses. He does have a knee swivel that will do a full 360 either way. Ankles, um, they turn, but they don't really pivot side to side, but they do turn just a smidge, um, mostly just that way. They pretty much stay straight. Um, it won't go back any, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, it will only go forward, and only go forward but that much, so one, two, two clicks. Um, he does have a waist pivot, which he pivots about good side to side, 90 degree bend on it. Um, and it's got a one click pivot. And now his, these billows here are actually rubber. This is where the speaker is for his sound effects. Um, he's got many, many sound effects, many phrases, about 50 phrases. So that's his helmet opening, closing. Got his laser. His laser is a one press. If you hold it, it will not stay on, uh, which is unfortunate. He does have the wings that open, make the noise, and they do light up at the tips, which is nice and make a closing sound. Um, I do have a few gripes of this figure, which I will get to later, because uh, it, it's a short little list, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. Uh, the paint is um, actually was originally luminous. It's got a bit of texture to it where it's got that luminous uh, bit to it, so he will light up on all the green areas. Or, well, brand new he would. Uh, I've had mine for a while, so he will no longer do that. Uh, but in terms of sculpt, very, very great likeness. Looks just like he came out of the movie. Paint details are good. Um, movement, everything's what you expect. Now, toy mode for him is a two-stage thing, like I said. And that's for all the Toy Story stuff. Um, this is an intergalactic emergency. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. There's a secret mission. To infinity and beyond. I am Buzz Lightyear. So these two buttons here, the green button and the red button, you press those, you get your normal toy phrases that you see in the movies. Um, him basically acting like a toy. Now if you press the blue button, this is when he turns on his interactivity. And I feel like there's almost a microphone somewhere hidden that he picks up on sounds and stuff. Because he will respond to different sounds and stuff and just start talking to you. In fact, he will honestly never shut up unless you make him shut up, either by turning him off on his master switch, which is down here, so he's on, off in demo mode. Or if you just press one of these two buttons here again, then he'll go back to his toy mode and I'll shut up. Um, but for the interactivity, it really is nice. So we'll go ahead and turn him on. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. And like I said, he will not shut up, especially if you leave him alone. He'll try to engage you what and you want to play. About? You're breaking ranks, Ranger. Like so. So let's open his communicator. He'll interact with that. Time to record the old mission log. Initiated full perimeter sensor scan of sector one. Excellent. Moving on to sector two, proceed with scan. I'm Buzz Lightyear. I'm always sure. What's that over there? Initiating scanning sensor now. And let's reactivate his wings. This galaxy needs my protection. To infinity and beyond. I make flight noises and shooting noises. Turn him back into toy mode so he won't try to talk over me. Um, now, gripes wise, um, obviously, I wish that he was cheaper, um, but that's okay. I, I think my biggest gripe is I wish there was more articulation. And my other big gripe is the fact that he does not have the karate chop action that you see in the first Toy Story. And I wouldn't, I used not to gripe about this so much because, you know, it's just such a nice piece, a great replica. 
until recently I was at the Disney store and I saw that they have a bunch of Toy Story stuff that use a lot of the same molds as the Toy Story collection without all the extra functionality and they don't look quite as nice in materials and paint. Um, but a friend of mine, their young son actually has one of these Buzz Lightyear's from the Disney store and it has the Karate Chop action. Um, and I'm mad about that because I used to see on the forums people complain about it and the response always was, well, it doesn't have the Karate Chop action because it's got the wings that come out just like how they do in the movie. Well, that is an absolute lie because this new Buzz Lightyear you can get at the Disney store has the wings that pop out like that in the movie. And I think they still light up on the tips like this one does. And he has the Karate Chop function. Now, his arm doesn't move as much as this one does or as this one does. Um, but it still does move a little bit. But it's got the Karate Chop action. So if you went back here and pressed that, it's got the Karate Chop action. Um, so that is probably my biggest gripe with this piece. Other than that... He really is a fantastic collectible, a great, great piece. All the Toy Story collection pieces are. If you can track them down, I highly recommend it. Your best bet's probably eBay at this point, and they are getting very pricey. Um, particularly, uh, the normal version of him is getting pricey because he's hard to find. They made him first, I believe, then they came out with this one. Uh, although this one's more rare, I think, um, but it's just not as desirable. Um, I think the normal Buzz... I think the cheapest I've seen him in a while is about eighty dollars, which I, I like to get the normal Buzz. Um, I, I mean, it's basically the same toy. It's just I prefer, like most people, the one without the utility belt. Um, but overall, great, great piece. Really fantastic. Really nice. Looks good. If you're a Toy Story fan, definitely recommend trying to track these guys down to pick them up. They really are fantastic. Um, so that's all for this guy. Uh, I've got more videos on the way, uh, so subscribe, uh, leave me some comments, thumbs up. Uh, if you want to make sure you stay up to date with our videos, make sure you hit the notification bell. I know YouTube's kind of funny nowadays with um, not alerting people to the new videos if that's not clicked, which I think just about everyone on YouTube's gripped about that. But as is, um, that's about the only way you can do it. So until next time, more stuff on the way. See ya.